Hey guys, and welcome back to Down the Movies. I'm here to talk about if you watch my lax, my lax, my lax video, my last video, uh, basically talking about the Agfa, where we, you know, you watch random movies you don't know you're gonna watch. This is the part two. Uh, so if you watched part one, then you got to hear me talk about one of the weirdest, most obscure movies of all time, the Magic Christmas Tree. Um, and this one's gonna be even even weirder. And I swear, it's it's ah, uh, what were people thinking sometimes? You know. Um, so basically, this movie is called Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. So just from the name alone, you know we have a winner. So when the guy came out there and told us, you know, the second movie was called Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny, and I do recommend you looking these up, I swear. There's two cuts of the movie. We The one we got to watch was uh, the more rare one. It was only on that format, which is like, was it 35 millimeter? I think is what he said. Um, and this one had, which I'll get to, had a specific story in the middle of it that the format that a lot of people you can get, like on either on DVD or like the riff tracks with the Mystery Science Theater people, that their, their version is completely different than the one we watched. Um, so let's get right to it. So basically, the whole thing starts off with these kids, they're singing, and of course, these things look like shit because it's, you know, they're like from the 50s or something. And so it shows these kids kind of making toys, and they, they you know, they're like, where is Santa? So they open the door, and they look out, and you just see like this recording of like <laughs> deer, um, just kind of chilling, and they're supposed to be reindeer, but it's like the the fakest looking thing you've ever seen. It's like they just copy pasted scenery. So you have that. That right there was like, okay, I have a winner. So then it goes back to these kids, and then like, you know, and then this voice or these kids are just like, oh, man, Santa's never late, you know. So this voiceover goes, and then it shows Santa in <laughs> in Florida. It's like. You know, he's so far from the North Pole, he landed in Florida. And then he's just, like, sitting in the sand. Like, he's in a sleigh. The reindeer got away, and so he's just trapped in Florida on the beach. And the whole time it shows Santa, for like so for, like, 15 minutes, it's him literally going, It's hot in here. It's so hot. Oh, I've never felt so hot. It's hot. And then, then he starts singing. So he's going like this the entire time. This is probably another 10 minutes of him just going like this. And then it shows these random kids like doing stuff. You know, like those old cheesy montages. Like, okay, Spider Man 2. Not the amazing Spider Man 2. Spider Man 2, when Tobey Maguire is walking and then he stops and he's like, and smiles, right? Okay, so there's that. So it's these kids basically like, it shows this one kid playing with his, playing with their dog and then these other ones skateboarding and then they kind of freeze. So like they freeze frame. So like they're doing stuff and then it just pauses. And then I guess you're supposed to want to know these kids. So just like this is where their way of introducing their, these kids without really having to introduce these kids. So it does that. And then basically after that, it gets to where he's calling these kids. So he starts naming these kids off. But then it's like I think the writers of this movie got really bored. So like they were like naming Timmy and Samantha and, and whatever. And then it shows this one kid and he's like, kid, come here. And so it's like half of them he, they didn't even name. I guess they just forgot. They couldn't think of any more names. So, okay, so these kids go, and Santa's like, okay, you need to help me get out of here. And these kids start randomly bringing these farm animals, and you're like, what the hell, where'd they get these things? So, like, one brought a pig, one brought a cow, one bought a horse, and then they can't, you know, get, they can't get the animals to do what they want to, because these are real animals, and this is before they could, like, probably CGI a pig or something. And so Santa gets out of his sleigh, and then he's like, it's very bad. I mean, I don't know if it's because I have a dirty mind, or if, like, we all have dirty minds, but it shows, like, this kid's like, you know, trying to sit there and pull on a sleigh and help. And Santa gets like, here, I'll help you. And he gets out and he's like, ooh, oh, nice and tight. Ooh, it's gonna, it won't, oh, I can't get it. And so the whole theater's laughing because it's like the most disturbing thing you could ever see is this dude dressed as Santa, uh, basically making these ooh and ah noises with this little kid trying to help him move his sleigh. So there's that. And again, this is called Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny. This is probably like 30 minutes in and there's no bunny or anything. So then Santa's like, you know what, kids, let me tell you a story. So he sits all the kids around the sleigh. So he, he's, he's given up trying to get home. And then he starts talking about Jack and the Beanstalk, right? So he starts telling Jack and the Beanstalk. And it and then instead of, like, actually just being a story and that's it, it's like it jumps into Jack and the Beanstalk. So then, like, this Christmas movie, like, the only part of it that is Christmas is just that Santa's in it. He happens to be there. And so after that, he starts telling you about Jack and the Beanstalk. It jumps to like an actual movie of Jack and the Beanstalk. And it's like this kid just singing and it's just, it's all shit. And I don't want to have to say anything else. Like, I really don't. And I want you to be surprised. I'm not even going to say when the ice cream bunny shows up, but it is the most devastating thing of all time. Like, it's the most ridiculous thing. I really highly recommend it. Whoever watches this, I don't care if it's just two people. If you watch this video, look up either on YouTube or find it on DVD or 
whatever, do it. Go find this piece of garbage movie that we sat through. I mean, it's not very long. You know, if you watched my last video, the one I talked about before is about an hour, and this one's probably about an hour and a half, uh, if that. And, and, and it's awful. It really is. And I, I wish I could say more. It's like I was venting more about it after it, but I don't want to. I don't want to vent too much without giving a lot of way. So check this movie out again: Santa Claus and the Ice Cream Bunny, and the other one is the Magic Christmas Tree. So check this out, guys. Please. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it was a, it was an experience. I had to wait till a day I could actually sit and do both of these at the same time. Um, so make sure you check this out. And if you don't, or if you have already seen it, talk to me about it. Comment. Let me know. And do yourself a favor and watch these movies or at least find some clips of them on YouTube. It's the strangest shit you'll ever see. So thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.